Hello Twitch, hello YouTube, and welcome to another stream. This is a bit loud, isn't it? Welcome to another stream with me. I don't want to sound boring. I sound absolutely boring, don't I? Um, but yeah, I thought, uh, you know, look at Game Pass games, see what they had. It's not a lot there. But this one seems interesting enough, so let's play it. Uh, in case you're wondering, the game is called... Hold on while I get OBS back up. It is called CrossCode. And it's a game. Yes, it's a game about games. There we go. Okie okay, and and I want to minimize the volume of this, uh, which means I need my main screen. Dang this life! Ah! I can't see my mouse. There we go. That should be a valid volume. Uh, I'm just going to quickly preview this on my phone so that I know that the volume's right. And that's what the notification earlier was for. Right, so just let me check. In case you're wondering, the stream earlier was just me making sure some stuff looked fine. Uh, which it did, thankfully. Okie cookie. Go to my page, go to my YouTube, wait for the stupid goddamn advert to pass. Because, you know, Twitch Prime users don't get fucking ad free anymore. Even though bloody uh, Twitch uh, Turbo or whatever it's called um, is in euros and dollars, but not in goddamn pounds and pence. Like, come on. If you're gonna force us into it, at least make one where it's like, you know, pounds and pence. Make one where it's like, you know, pounds and pence. Okay, that sounds good. Uh, sorry for the crappy microphone, by the way. It's just, uh, I'm using a webcam for the microphone, so. Right. Let's uh, resume this game. We're not using keyboard and mouse, we're going control on the PC. Right. Actually, I really feel like there was no music on that. Yeah, there's no music. There it is. There's my mouse. I'm just going to check something. Yeah, it doesn't seem like the desktop audio is coming through at all.
Okay, I think that's good. Yeah, that sounds good, right? I mean, in case you're wondering, I'm using the YouTube music library. Uh, so I'm just letting it randomly run through. Right. Still, I would kind of like to know your name. Sergey? Can you help us here? Right, her name is Leah. Leah? Well, ain't that sweet. Huh? Well then, Leah. Ready to get up? We gotta get ready for what's coming. Ball throwing and like, you know. And I got just the thing prepared for you. Come follow me. Sorry, I'm not used to. No, there we go. Boom, 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 boom. Yep, it seems all good. If you ask nicely, you know. Mm. Okay, uh, in case you're wondering, um, I'm at the point that in the story where this girl has just appeared and her communication isn't working. The communicator isn't working. It's like, it's basically a game within a game right now. Um, now, where the hell did I put that in the hill with mine? Oh wait, I wore my blue jacket, so... It's on the other side of the flat, I'll be back in a moment. We all love biscuits, don't we? I'm talking about the British kings. You Americans might call them cookies. Uh, right, what shall we have? Nice custard creams, bourbon creams, or chocolate. I think I'll have... I think I'll have bourbons. I really feel like bourbons right now. Uh, cookie. Once we've got that, then let's get on with the stream. Um, yeah, before anybody said, I am aware of everything I'm doing.
Um, right. I'm gonna start on one game. <laughs> Look at that cute face.
This is a little bit more fitting. Second weighted is an attack wasted, alright. Still, you should know that your strikes have enough punch to interrupt some attacks. So you can just pummel your opponents without giving them a chance to strike back. Sounds like a plan, am I right? So go get him! Nice moves, they didn't even see it coming. for a fearless gladiator. Let's take a short break before we do that, okay? I still need to report to the captain. He wants to meet Leo as well. Good idea. Best not to keep Jet waiting for too long. Come on, Leo. Let's... Right this way. Yeah, I can't, I can't read Bush probably today. Alright, up to the bridge. Oh yeah, Leo. Just a heads up, the captain's kinda grumpy. But don't worry about it. That's just the way he is. Back with a report. 
I see, go on. The initiation, a total kinch. A chink, or whatever you call it, I don't know what it is. Here's the avatar, name is Leah. I hard to, hard to miss that lass. Hope you didn't run into everything with those horns there. Huh? Wait, don't tell me you didn't notice the horns till now, Leah. Uh. Anyway, make sure you clean up that mess you made down there. Yes, Cap. I hope Sergi is satisfied. Is he around? Yeah, I, I, can't, I can't. I can't do the captain's voice very well. Yeah. Oh God. Damn me. Whew. All the carbon dioxide. Whew. Anyways, yeah. Just give me a sec to set up your headset. Damn me. Hello there, Jets. My good man. It's been a long time. Indeed. You're still clinging to that jetpack, I see. You know, I'd never travel by the sea without my old bay. Anyway, I hope you two, two will, uh, will be ready to travel on soon. Having a darn avatar on board is just calling for trouble. Of course, we will make this as brief as possible. Gee, Cap, what? kind of welcome is that supposed to be? Besides, ain't we talking to Jet, former VRP dueling camp? You keep telling us all your, about your combat moves from the old days, so here I thought maybe you'd get want to give uh, Aaliyah a small combat lesson. Hmm. You're telling me that that wee glass is up for a battle? Oh, you bet she is. Right, we'll see about that. But just talk to me later today. Sweet. Now then, you're mid dismissed. You can show the lasses around the ship, but uh, don't stir up any trouble. All right, Captain. Come on, Leia. It's time for some fresh air. I quite like this. Um, in case you're wondering, for those watching YouTube, uh, links to the various audio tracks will be present uh, in order for YouTube not to strike me. Quite the ship, huh? Uh, quite the ship, huh? Ah. You know, the view here is nice, but uh, you got to see what's beyond the bow. Right, we're currently steering towards Rhombus Square. That's something to look at. Sorry, it's the first time I'm seeing all this. If I'd read it a few times, I'd be a lot better voice acting. Actually, why don't you uh, go to the bow and explain the situation to Leah there? Seeing Rhombus Square will make it easier for her to understand, correct? Hey, good thinking, Sergi. Follow me, Leah. There she is, the Avatar! And she's a Spheromancer class. How awesome is that? Huh? Looks like you got your first fan, Leah. Huh? Hey there, Carla. Good to see you. About all these strange boxes here. Yeah, I know. I'm supposed to clean that up. But right now, I have to take care of the Avatar, you know. I'll do a bit it in a bit, okay? See you, Leah. There she goes again. She said exactly the same thing yesterday. A spheromancer? It's so awesome! Bo, this way. Oh, Bo is this way. It's a bit of a walk, though. Just follow me. 
Carla, what were all those destructible boxes doing in that room anyway? I was just practicing how to use those things, you know. Prob uh. Now, girl, have a look at this. The view in 8-bit style or 16-bit style is beautiful. Okay, where to start? How about welcome to Crossworlds? Wait, Crossworlds? I don't remember it being called that. What did I call it on the stream again? Cross code? What? Okay, I'm confused. Oh, well. What game did I save it as? Just to check. Uh, no. Um, when I hover over it, it does say cross code min v 1.1.03. So, oh well. Anyways. There we go. I'm back in the game. Hmm? One step at a time, Carla. Leah, do you remember the concept of an MMO? Yes. That's the first interactive thing. Uh, Alright. Now, Cross Worlds is like an MMO, just with one striking difference. The world of this game is not virtual, it's real. All players are remotely connected to this world through special avatars. These avatars have physical form and are tightly connected to all five senses. I really... like This would be a really good game to actually make real life. Like, think about it. Just by purchasing an island, Doing the island up as you would want it to be. And then, um, and then, uh, just, uh, make, like, robots which, which become the avatars. Like, custom, uh, like, pre-design the, it, it, it'd be more of a billionaire's toy thing than a, than a, a someone like me. But still, it would be quite fun to do. And you, Leah, are currently logged into this game as well. Huh? Huh. Oh, me? No, I'm I'm not a player. I just work here. In fact, you're the only avatar on this whole ship. That's correct. This cargo ship belongs to the maintenance staff of Crossworlds. The actual game takes place on the land you see over there. The playground. The reason you are here, Leah, is because you are not a regular player. You have lost your memory and we are trying to recover it. <gasps> you see, you have been in this game before being logged into this game, there is a chance that you might remember your past. And that is why we will try to get you into the real playground soon. Yeah, in fact, you'll be going to the glass palace of a city over there. I assume it's that big round building. That's the Rhombus Square, it's where all players start. Well. I guess this cleared up some things at least, right? Like, to be perfectly honest, in terms of voice actors, I think uh, the chick on the left um, would be best uh, described as kind of like that American twang. Um, like, you know, a, a deep female American voice. Uh, the the girl on the right would probably just do a... a, a like, I would probably say my friend's kind of pitch, but like in an American twang again. Uh, but the guy on the computer screen, I think, would do well with an um, with a, a British kind of voice. All right then, I think this is a good time to split. I'm gonna t talk to the captain and try and set you up, set up that combat lesson for you. Meanwhile, you can have a look around the ship if you like. The crew knows about you. Yeah, I guess every. I guess you already noticed that, right? You can meet me and the captain later. Until then, just make sure not to fall into the water, girl. Okay, let's... By the way, Leia, I had a closer look at those speech synchronization issues. Unfortunately, I do not think I will be able to fix them soon. 
Oh. However, I found a little light work run. I might be able to help hard code specific audio patterns in your speech module. That means you'll be able to say certain words. Huh? That should help you a bit, correct? So let us try it out. Hi! Hi! Hi, hi, hi! It works. That should help you start some conversations with the crew here. I want to say hi. Oh, hey, you're the Avatar girl, right? Hi. I was just giving our newbie here a lesson. Hey, I've been working here for six months. You sure? Before you know it, you'll be cleaning the whole deck front to back every day. Hmm. Look who's here. You must be the Avatar, right? Well then, welcome to Emma's Solar. If you lean over the railing a bit, you might even see the name of the ship. <gasps> Oi, make sure you don't fall into the sea. I'm pretty sure Avatar's about it swimming. You say I'm busy here? Wait, who are you? Hmm. Alright, I remember you now. You're the pseudo robot thing. Uh. Uh, no offense, you see. I, I was just recently having a discussion with a colleague. It was about avatars being the same as robots. And I have to insist that they are not. Avatars are just some fragile temporary collection of instant matter. Everyone knows real robots are made of metal, like these beauties here. So I can't share the excitement of my colleagues about your presence. You're just an avatar, no true robot, you see. Hmm. That's a power face. That's definitely a power face. <laughs> anyway, I have to take care of my babies here. So you'll have to excuse me. Hi! Oh, avatar incoming! I must say, I'm surprised. I expected the embodiment of... Some gamer kitty's wildest dreams, lots of beefcake and such. And yet here we have such a cute girl. Ah, that's a blush. Too bad that doesn't really say anything about the player's actual appearance. Ah, uh, just like in the old days of MMO, some things never change. Oh my, that's some extremely colourful hair you have there. Huh? I had heard that avatar designs tend to be flamboyant, but really? And those horns, too. Ugh. You're not happy about them either, eh? Now I have to wonder who put those things on you. <laughs> uh. Hi. Mmm. 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 Sorry, I'm busy checking the containers here. <laughs> Nods. <laughs> oh. Oh, it's Miss A Miss Avatar's back. Hi. Would she talk to me? Gee, calm down there, though. Anyway, Carla just passed us by again. Passed by us again. She told us that you could take care of all these boxes here. 
I mean, really? Can you believe that woman? Now she's loading off her work on our guests. Well, she has a point. It's easy to destroy these boxes with your average more weapons, right? Mm-hmm. Awesome! Please, I want to see that! Well, no pressure, you know. You are our guest after all, but you'd help us out a lot. Ah! So, will you destroy the boxes for us? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes! Show us the balls! <laughs> Woo! This is amazing! Well, it certainly works. All cleared! Truly amazing! I'm really surprised how quickly those balls were fly. What are you even talking about? I didn't see any balls, only those boxes disappearing for whatever reason. Yeah, you need to wear these AR goggles to see them. The balls and their impact are like stuff, like virtual and stuff. I see, so that's why you've been wearing those goofy glasses all day. Goofy? You know nothing about style, lady! Yeah, whatever. Anyway, thanks a lot for the help. Yes, thank you so much, Miss Avatar. Dear me, I never knew my colleague was such a geek. The whole day he's been blabbing about Crossworlds and Avatars and whatnot. Well, admittedly, Crossworlds is pretty amazing, but I still find it hard to believe they've managed to get all the resources to essentially turn this moon into a high-tech, high-tech theme park. I suppose it's a good thing they did. It's a steady income for me, being a small cog in this machine. I got a friend who's back home who's a regular Crossroads player. I seriously envy him. I didn't have the money for the game and now, well, I'm on a ship. But at least now I can claim to have seen a real life avatar in person. Maybe someday I'll finally be able to play Crossroads as well. And then who knows, we might just meet again. Until then, Miss Avatar. Actually, I feel like there's a hidden something now. Uh, I was hoping there was a hidden something. It would be quite fun. Oh yeah. Ooh. Let's pop into the cargo hold. After all, I am exploring a little. See, so this is the bit that we came through. Tom, top, must defeat the spawning enemy. I thought they cancelled this game. Dang it! Oh well. He seems pretty engaged with the game. We should let him play. Oh, you must be the avatar the captain told us about. Hi! Oh, feel free to check out the ship. 
It's just one of the smaller ships of the solar science, but it does its job. I suggest you don't go near the room across the hall. Hmm? Oh my, look at this mess. The captain will surely not like this. Huh? You know what I know why? Jet runs a strictly regime ship. Every room needs to be cleaned before work. I wonder how these guys manage to skip Jet's daily inspections. Um, I feel like those two are glitched out. Hi! Whoa, you spoke! Is your voice finding back? Hmm. Hmm. Hi. Wait, that ain't right. <laughs> a speech synchronization is still not functioning. I just managed to hard code the word. I just hard coded the word hi into a speech module. That's all she can say for now. I'm currently working on adding more words. I see. It's a start, I suppose. Anyway, the captain and I have just been planning out your combat training, girl. We're almost set. Good to go, right? Aye, this is going to be interesting. Well, I'm off to my cabin for final preparations. I'll be done in no time, so I'll just stick with the captain, okay? See you later. Aye, I'll be back on a bit. It will not for me when I arrive, but I can... Just make sure you're prepared. I'll be expecting your full attention. You two over there. Ah, uh, oh yeah, I need to. Make sure you clean up the galley after you're done cooking, understood? Aye aye, Captain! It's not like we forgot since the last time you told us. Yeah, wasn't that yesterday? Another messy room. <laughs> His glasses kind of look similar to those that, that um, you know, when the when you watch anime and it and the just like square all the eyes and everything else is visible. All right, time to start.
Looks like a being of some sorts. What peculiar location we have here? It's a darn cargo ship, you dover. You look like someone who jumped right out of crossroads. This ship is not a part of the bloody playground. So don't be a nuisance and get lost. We are aware of the nature of this place, yet we perceive the presence of another misplaced individual. That's none of your bloody business. Now get off the ship and... to the game you came from. Foolish mortal, do you truly believe we will abide by your command? Did you just call me mortal, you nutkiss? I started turning him Irish. Okay, he's Irish now. So he's now an Irish sailor. You're better you better leave right now or you'll be glad you tighten in you oh, glad to tighten your grip on reality. You bore us, we chose to no longer converse with the likes of you. Besides, your search has already been concluded. Oh, you you do not belong here. You need to be removed. Huh? Wait, you seem all too familiar, huh? Like, what it be? Indeed, it might be a mere coincidence. But we most definitely have a way, have a way to be certain. What a convenient stage we have here. Now it's time for you to face your trial. Let us see if you are the genuine article. As a display of your tons, as display of your tons shall suffice. Huh? 
behind me. Sorry, I'm burping. Uh, yes, I did just activate the banner there. While I was burping. Uh. Leah, do you hear me? I am just as confused about this whole situation as you are. It is cer certainly a mess, but we will get you out of this. For now, take this challenge and keep him busy. I know this enemy looks intimidating, but do not lose hope. I am confident you will be able to handle this. Hmm. Because I can see it's a battle... It's battle stats. They match your level. Huh? Huh. Huh. Fuck's sake! It does not match my stats. Oh wait. Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on, I'm not very good with bloody... Ah, oh, no, it's three stars from the beginning. But at least I know now how to work it. Uh, while I'm skipping through this, you can have a look at the banner.
There we go. Destroyed. Every time I level up, I'm gonna do a banner. <laughs> Pummy. Pummy again. Oh, sorry about my burping. I might move it to a little bit more convenient place. Since it uses a speech at the bottom. Oops. Come on, let me figure out where everything is. Oh, there, you go. there you are. That's a more convenient place. There you go. Let's give us a second while I drink. Found studio mod. Aha. Got it, cat. Follow me, girl. Oh shit.
<laughs> oh shit. This is a fairly sexual image on the uh, YouTube screen right now. I'll just flash it to you. Wait, are we still using... Let me have a look through the preview window. Wait. Uh, for some reason, it's bloody messed up, buddy. Uh, okay, let's turn off studio mode. Now, which one was it, that one? See what I mean? It's changing these instantly rather than transitioning over, so I might as well just keep it on bloody. How long? Okay, now why is it stuck like this? Hold on, my preview window isn't right. Yeah, that's definitely not right. Hold on. There we go. New preview window, that's nice and clean. before I'll say it again. This cargo ship is not part of the bloody playground. Neutralizer. What the bloody hell was that about? What the bloody hell was that about? It's kind of hot, caught me half Irish. Ooh, I like the shape of the island. It's square. I guess that's why the loading screen looks like it does. We did it, Leah. much about your speech synchronization issues. You're in fact not the first player with these problems. Ah, anyway, just be careful, okay? Mm. Most of these players should be newcomers like you. Pardon me. Ah, I can barely see a thing. You should totally choose an astral avatar, they said. It'll be so cute, they said. Just great. Hmm. You're on the same boat, huh?
Ooh. Pardon, I didn't see you there. Hi. Um, bonjour. You are new here too? Mm hmm. Hmm, but I have not. I have not noticed you appear before. Oh, does that mean you caught up after me? Huh? Hmm. Huh? Well, it must be very. You must be very quick with the tutorials, but I got a hang of it now, too. He, I, I, I like this guy. Is it a guy or a gal? I'm not quite sure. I quite like this person, okay? You will not beat me on the last tutorial stage. Let's meet at the end. I'll be waiting. Uh, au revoir. He's probably French, so he probably has a... He or she has a French accent. Rookie Dungeon Level 3. Oh, someone suspicious. Uh, yeah, it's a girl. Okay.
supposed to do
time right now. strange is going on here. Not to mention that he recognized you. Kill you, fly. Ah, oh, for fuck's sake. Eh. Your memory might, in fact, contain some answers to all this. Eh. Anyway, there's nothing for you to worry about right now. Our goal is simply to claim ourselves. And I see you've made a lot of progress already. So, onwards! Character main menu activate. Press and then inventory and then equip items.
I am literally
Master of Turrets. Work. You did great. Sorry about that guys, I had to find my blanket so it can you know, cozy up a little bit. But now let's get on with the game again, eh? 
There we go. That looks about right. So. Pammy. Complete. Circuit activated. Oh. Ah, I see. <laughs> Circuit points. Oh, God. Fanny managed to get another word for your vocabulary. <gasps> well, you know how it is. No shiny effects from me. Just the upgrades. Here we go. Clear. Clear? I think you will need this one since I will not be able to introduce you to other people anymore. Clear. Hi. Hi. Hi, Leah. Hi, Leah. Hi. Hmm. Don't look at me like that. I know it takes a long time to add these words. It's a very involved process, actually. I mean, you need to manually extend your thought control model, essentially modifying a statistically generated code based by hand. Eh? Uh, yes, it is very technical. The technology controls avatars as well. Complicated. And that is an understatement. Anyway, the second word is done. I will work on the next one right away. Leah! <laughs> Woo! Do, 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 Ha! I told you I would be first. Hi. Phew. Ah, we. Oui. But wasn't that fun? Okay, I'm gonna try and do a French accent. I was uh, very interested by that boss at the very end. Hmm. Um, pardon, uh, I didn't even introduce myself. Je m'appelle Emily. Em em Emily. Nickname Eliminator. Ooh, I know. It's a genius, right? And it's turned Italian. Oh well. Um, so, um, what's your name? Leah! Leah, nice to meet you. So, are you ready to take the sky rails? I don't even have to nod. Ooh, this is fun. I wish we could already explore the city itself, but no. Hmm? Didn't you know that the Skyrail will take you straight to cross Central? From there, you'll be transported to the mainland. You will only be able to enter Rhombus Square much later. Oh. Wee, oui, it sucks, but I know. You! Over there! Yes, you blue-haired Sphero-Mancer. Hi. Before you just appeared out of nowhere. Suspicious. And what do I see now? You are at level 4, and this is unheard of, I'm being forced to assume. You, lovely lady, have been cheating. Huh? What? Monsieur, going straight for the accusations. How could you be so sure about it? Just because you are stuck at level 3 doesn't mean... Impossible! No player on record has ever reached level 4 at this point. Young lady, surely... I don't need to explain to you the faults of such actions. Cheating will never pay off in the long run. Hi. Is that all you have to say? Oh dear, what's going on here? John, I have exposed a cheater here. And now you're actually lecturing that. Yes, about the wrongness of our actions. Hmm. Hmm. How about no? What? I'll just go ahead and pretend I don't know you. Come on. 
Apologies for my friend's behaviour. He sometimes pretends to be a moderator. He is not. No, no problem. Hmm. Young lady, I'll let you off this time. Reflect on your actions. Mon dieu. What was the deal with him? Uh, I hope we don't meet players like this around here very too often. Anyway, let's go. I, f I want to finally reach Ruki Haba. You can come with me if you want to. Hmm. Trebian, let's go. Whoa, my heart just stopped there a second. That was close. It's because you collected those extra EXP from the crab boss. You should have no I should have noticed early. Sorry. You can go ahead, just take any of those sky rail terminals. Hmm. Note that new seekers are not yet permitted to enter the city of Rhombus. Such permission will only grant you track of the ancients. Hi. You look puzzled. Do you want to know more about the track of the ancients? Yes. The track of the ancients is an ancient assessment system based on highly advanced technology. As seekers, it is your task to walk the track and discover the secrets it holds. Once you've reached Ruki Harbor, you can attend the introductory briefing to learn more about it. Cross Central. Uh, Cross Central. Are they all cops Cross Central by any chance? Whoa, this city looks huge, clean and shiny. Yeah, they won't let you in until much later. That's evil. I know, right? Yeah, it looks like it all goes to Central. That was fun. Can't wait to reach the mainland. Pummy. Allez, this way. I quite like this track. Goes quite well with it. Harbor teleporter. Okay, I think I figured out the landmarks bit. Fantastic! Right at the sea. Just like they said. <gasps> the city should be right up ahead. Go, go! Ooh, this place looks really pretty. Hey, over there! Look at these old style buildings! <gasps> it's like we're in some medieval fantasy world! <laughs> so, right now I am waiting here to meet a friend. But I haven't seen him so far. There's just so many people here. Olero! Yeek! <laughs> Sacre bleu! Was that really necessary? Yes, very. I see you brought a friend. Ah, oui, it's Leah. I met her during the tutorial. Hi. And this is Dark Lord Mimi here is Lucas. Also known as Schneider. Nice to meet you, Leah. Hmm. So you finally reached the croissant. Oh, God. Is that what they called it? Is this game French by any chance? Hold on. Uh, no, I downloaded this from the Microsoft Store. Actually, you know what? I'll just search it on the internet. Um, let's have a look. Uh, let's cross chord. Pummy. Uh, 
Oh, there's an original soundtrack. Oh. Yeah. Is this just embedded into the website? Oh, Bandcamp, yeah. It's embedded into the website. Ah, oh, ten dollars isn't too bad for a digital album, and you can get a physical one for twenty-five dollars. Oh, I see. So you can put something. Okay, yeah, seven ninety-five plus VAT. So, seven, uh, it's going to be about tenner. Five plus brackets. Oh, wait, by the way, I should uh, There we go, now you can hear me. Sorry about that, I forgot to put that back in. Anyways. So, uh, 795 bracket. Um, oh no, why did I put multiplayer? The multiply. 795. 795. 95 times 0.2 So yeah, £9.54 it would cost uh, using 20% VAT um, Bandcamp app I wonder if it would be on uh, Prime Music Sorry about it's slow loading. It's because I'm streaming at the same time. It does look like they have it on a uh, Amazon Prime Music Unlimited. Yeah, I have Amazon Prime Music Unlimited. That it was a four months for ninety nine pence kind of deal. So I was like, yeah, I'm rocking that. Wonder if they've got it on title too. But yeah. So they have it on there, so I don't need to bother with that anymore. Uh, this is the UK site, so I, I, I don't need to doubt it. Um, much cheaper to get it on their actual website. Uh, let's see if it's on Tidal. It's going to open up on the main screen. Is it? Let's give it time. We oui, and dormant. What croissant? The mainland. You'll get an idea once you see the map. Anyway, this is Rookie Harbour. It's known for the incoming fair. 
confusing with said for rookies, so I thought I'd give you a small tour. Trebia, lead the way. Ah, there we go. Titles opened. Ta-da! See, it did open up on the main screen. Right. Let's see. Give it 30. Oh, my TV's threatening to turn itself off now. Yep, yeah, it's on title as well. Oh well. <laughs> Sorry, wrong way. First, the info building. If you really want to dig into those details in the cross walls, this is your place. Yeah, we are back to normal. I just wanted to make sure of that. Combat art skills, all the stats from A to Z, you name it. Oh, that's the nerd hub, right? Yeah, people call it that. Frankly, it's a good thing to know all about that stuff. <laughs> I, I went British, and it's supposed, it's supposed to sound slightly German. But it's not mandatory. Oh no, I, you know what, I give up. Um, it sounded more Russian than German, but you know. It's a place to go back to whenever you, you're confused about something. Let's move on. By the way, El Eliminator. I know. What's Schneider supposed to mean? I'm Trailblader. I cut things. What? Not worth explaining. Ah. All right. Next up, the town center. Oh, is that the market over there? Yep. You'll find the most, the f most of the traders around here. Well, they're all over the place, to be frank. These traders offer pretty good equipment. The catch you first need to collect all the required trade items in the wild. It takes time, but it's worth it. Further up is another important building. This way. The weather is so nice. Uh-huh. See that building up there? That's the Seeker Hub or Quest Hub. Surprise, uh, surprise, you, uh, surprise, you'll find a lot of quests there. Just like in many other places in town and elsewhere. All those quests are optional, but the rewards usually make it worthwhile. Pardon me. Hey, Leia, are you still with us? Hmm? Oui, she's a quiet one. But she was really fast at the tutorial and almost beat me to it. Well, like they say, still waters run deeper. Oui, oui, so what about the main quest? They keep talking about the track of Asians. Oh, right. I almost forgot about that. You'll have to enter the quest hub anyway. There is a mandatory introduction for all new players. They'll explain all about it there. I suggest you go right away and get just get it over with. I'll just wait here. Dacord! Let's go, Lear. I, for I forgot what Dacord means, but you know. Whoa! Such a crowded place! Oh, whoa! Such a crowded place! The briefing's on the upper floor. Okay. Please go to the upper floor for an introductory briefing. Come on, I wanna go! Hush, I almost got it. You said that five minutes ago. Blame that messed up search interface. Bonjour, je m'appelle Alain, je mange une pomme de terre. Mon doué! Look at this. Tardis noises. 
Welcome to Operation Trackwalker, recruits. This briefing serves as an introduction to the history of this place and the nature of our cause. We're currently located on the natural satellite Shadoon. This place was once inhabited by intelligent life forms that we refer to as ancients. While ancients ceased to exist a long time ago, they left behind a technical heritage to behold. The Truck of the Ancients. Originally, it served as an assessment of social standing within the ancients' culture. It is a technical log it's a technological marvel and a highly, a highly advanced self-sufficient system that remains intact to this day. It wasn't long after humankind arrived on Shadoon that we realized its value. Thus, we initiated Operation Track Walker. We augmented the track so that humanity might walk it as well one day. And that was where you came come in when you recruit. By the way, that's the croissant shape he was talking about. I can kind of see it. Hold on. Pardon me. Oof. And that is where you come in, you recruit. Together with Pummy, other seekers, you'll start the journey along the track of ancients. In case you're wondering, I drank the pop again. Your path will be paved with obstacles, but every step you take will further our cause. Discovering the secrets of the ancients, your main task will be the collection of four elements. Heat, cold, shock, and wave. Beginning with the element heat, your first destination will be the village of Bergen. To reach it, you need to pass the western barrier of Ruki Harbour. I will now give you your first shade to grant you passage to the west. Green leaf shade obtained. Finally, I will give you the disc of insights. This device will record all of the knowledge you encounter on your journey. Disc of insight obtained. That is all. Good luck and stay vigilant. By the way, I apologise for the activate windows thing. Um, because, you know... Uh... I haven't got a fully activated copy of windows. Wee oui, wee, oui, track of ancient disease. Let's go back. Lucas is waiting. Lucas is waiting. By the way, Lair, I took the liberty of adding a few more entries to your encyclopedia. For example, all the past events and people we've met so far. And a few insights on, on the technology, of course. Hmm. What? I just like to organize things. Encyclopedia statistics and monster fibula are unlocked. Oh. Uh, Alright, there we go. Ooh. You look confused, Seeker. What you see here is the bulletin board. You can use it to open quests in this area. If you want to know more about quests, I suggest you talk to my fellow advisors at the Count Roll Fair. <laughs> Greetings, Seeker. I see that you have completed the introduction to Operation Truck Walker. Thus, you are now also qualified to use your abilities as a Seeker to assist in the four factions and the duties. Hmm. They are, they are organizations that secure humanity's survival and prosperity through their special fields of expertise. More detailed information can be accessed to the, by, in the terminal behind you. Hmm. For now, you should know that each faction has a subdivision in Ruki Harbor, like in every settlement. To better understand our society and your place in it, you should get introduced to all of them. For this purpose, I will now issue issue an official assignment. Please accept. Accept it. Hmm. Sorry, I've got energy first. Good. Visit the representative of every faction 
in Autumn's Rise and introduce yourself. Most of them can be found at the respective headquarters near the market or western entrance, though the HQ of the CTC is still inaccessible to new seekers. Pardon me, their ambassador can be found just outside this building. Pardon me. Once you have visited all of them, return to me and get your reward. Ooh. Mm. Pardon me. I think I figured that out. Large parts of humankind are organized into four big factions. Each of them are responsible for different aspects of human civilization. All of them crucial for surviving and prosperity. The main headquarters of the factions are located in Rhombus Square, but every human settlement harbors one local subdivision of each for each of them. The Venture Alliance is mainly responsible for doing pioneer work by exploring and claiming new land, hunting and scavenging wildlife, and mining natural resources. It is represented in Rookie Harbor by the Fall Divers. The Human Preservation Department is mainly responsible for the protection and discipline of human settlements on Shadoon. It is re represented in Rookie Harbor by the Rookie Harbor Guard. The Association of Human Advancement is mainly responsible for trade, manufacturing, and scientific research. It is re represented in Rookie Harbor by the Coastal Trading Coalition. The ME Amity of Balance is mainly responsible for farming, gathering, and research of native life and gaining an understanding of inner workings of the track of the ancients. It is represented in Ruki Harbor by the Fruits of Autumn. While the factions are filled with highly resourceful experts of their field, they often need support of the Seekers because of their special connection to the track of ancients. Okay, cookie. Okay. Okay, we'll have a look at this afterwards. But, uh... Give us a second. I'm just uh, checking to see if anybody's here. I don't even know. Hold on. View stats. Hmm. Where do I get the stats up though? Supposedly I'm supposed to have a Twitch. Oh, right. That's where they appeared. <laughs> Hey, 
Yeah. Seems I haven't dropped a single frame. That's a good sign. Uh, that seems to be running okay. Our uh, rendering lag. It's done a few frame skipping, but should be fine. I am oh, completely tired. Alright, oh, I need to... Mm -hmm. Autumn leaves and twilight dew. Right. <laughs> oh, she's furious. Direct link. Basically social messaging. Yeah, we need a good bye, boys. Oh, dang it, I was meant to...
<gülüyor> Zor. That's a lot of missions, pardon me.
Ah, oh, fuck. Oh, for fuck's sake! Come on!
I leveled up. <laughs> oh, my back. Give us a moment. Mm, I'm just going to switch to casual mode for a moment while I go get... Go exercise myself a little. So give us a moment. <sighs>
behind me. Sorry about that, guys. I took the liberty of taking a break to do some extra work for the stream. Um, as you can see on the project, well, you just can't see the projector preview. I can see the projector pre preview though. Um, actually, that reminds me. Take this out of studio mode. And then make that absolutely tiny at the bottom. Bring up stream information. Sorry, I'm just updating things. Go. Streams updated. It was pretty quick actually. Um so now we're playing War Groove. Just gonna organise everything in such a nice manner. trees up here. A lot of trees up here. After all, this is the woods. Oh, I see. So there's a little thing here which allows you to change things. That makes more sense.
See.
found out I forgot about that.
We won! Yay! But yeah, I quite like it. It's a complex map. What I might end up doing is... Try and make the enemy a little bit more powerful. Let's have four airships. Two archers. And a golem. So each side has a golem. This side has two golems. Alright.
I didn't think about that. Oh well, too late now.
depending on how it could be played, this could be an easy victory for a blue team. So basically the red team would have to win by either, well, it would basically rely on the blue team being a terrible player. I like this map.
forgot there's no sound currently.
Um. Okay, I don't know what happened there. They all seem to want to try and walk over that way. Um... Oh well. Now let's just make them both human players. campaign would take too long. <sighs> How long have we been on the stream, eh? Four hours. Mm. I reckon we should uh, call it quits for now. It's very itchy, bud. So guys, yeah, let's call, let's call it all for today. So guys,
So guys, I'm gonna keep saying it until I've... Don't forget to follow me for more uh, content like this. Uh, visit the website, which you will find in the About Me page on YouTube, or in the, uh, uh, just below, if you're using the desktop version of Twitch. Um, if you're on YouTube, don't forget to leave a like so that I know that you watched it. I don't think, and maybe something with the algorithm probably doesn't do anything to it, but you know, wanna be on the safe side. Eh? Um, if you enjoyed the stream though, please let me know. Uh, whisper it to us on, uh, on, sorry, I'm half asleep. On here, or visit my Discord, or uh, or uh, leave us a message on Instagram. Follow me on uh, Xbox as Alan Graham nineteen ninety nine. Uh, the rest of the details you can find on the website, which I will open up for you. So the website is gomedia.wixsite.com slash gomedia group and you'll have access to my entire portfolio of It's easier if you go onto the productions page though because uh, that's where everything is really. YouTube channel, Twitch channel, Instagram, the lots. So there you go, you can see my YouTube channel and it loads in. of things, I guess. You know, kind of similar to this. That kind of thing. Um, my Twitch. There it is. Infinite screens! Um, I do a little bit of boob stuff now and again. I don't know why I visit YouTube still up, it should uh, disappear when I'm on other pages, but you know, I'll fix that. Um, but yeah, so, I translated a book, or at least partly so far. My Tasty Colleague, or Mio Advertisio Colleague. Which actually literally translates to my appetizing colleague, but it, my tasty colleague sounds. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, yeah, it's a gay uh, thing. Um, but yeah, uh, there's other things that you can visit. Anime X Music, for example, uh, which allows you to kind of, you know, have a look at things. Um. That time I got reincarnated as a slime. Oh, did I miss any out when I was doing it originally? Yeah, I did. So, you know, things like this is being built around it. Ignore the fact that that's low resolution. 
it's a website thing it's just loading in uh, but yeah got buttons working here there you go now it's not at a low resolution and the autoplay is shit um, but yeah so there you go those in there uh, the web store, obviously, this is my uh, thing so far, my isekai trash and stuff, anime merch, you know, pretty cool, eh? Yeah, my friends in Evangelion there, so I've decided to design a, a, a couple of designs just for his kind of pleasure, I should say. Yeah, but yeah, in case you're wondering, there's two different Evangelion logos on this. I've got that one. Oh no, I thought there was two, but there wasn't. Um, I think it's these that have two logos on, so you've got that and then you've got the Evangelion logo. And the Evangelion stuff on the back. I see. <sighs> My neck's starting to really hurt. There you go. For all ages, I've got kids stuff and I've got adult stuff, and you know, I'm planning on bringing some more merch out eventually. I'm gonna make a full, full store merch for your choice. Uh, yeah, there's a limited edition T-shirt. There's only one design, and it's cheap as. I, I try to make it as cheap as possible while still getting some stuff. But yeah, ready to ship in one to two days. And this is the US store. There is a UK store being built, but it's not quite ready for public release yet. Uh, I think it uses the same URL. Just with. Marketplace, I also have a store. See, only those two designs at the moment. Oh god, my neck still hurts though. Oh well. So yeah, more stores coming soon. Go Media EU. Alright, this probably is what the URL is. Anyhow, let's uh, end it for today. So, guys, good morning to us Brits, and good night to many others. So, as I said, like, subscribe, and good. And good night.